Hi, everybody. Welcome. Happy Wednesday. Again, George Klopp here. I'm CTO, RMG Networks. And today we're talking about uh, the integration of Corbett with the BrightSide and Cloud. And uh, also going to go through some key features, too, of Corbett. So again, guys, we're just going to go through the provisioning, which it's it's a pleasure. It's so easy to do that the integration between Corbett and BrightSide and Cloud is working marvelously. We'll go through some of our key features at Corbett really quickly. Um, and then talk about some of uh, the specific support that we have in Corbett for BrightSign. Uh, and then go into some pricing and some sales as well. Uh, so the screen in front of you should be pretty familiar. This is just a video and this is showing um, you know, an, an XT244 right when you boot it up, fresh out of the box. It shows up with the BrightSign Cloud Activate screen uh, so that you can easily activate it within the, the BSN Cloud. So we kind of starting from scratch here and going all the way through to uh, getting this player provisioned in Corbett and getting content on it. That's the goal. So as we move over to our next slide, as you know, as, as we leave uh, the device and the screen on the device, and we log into the bright sign cloud here. Uh, I'm going to log in, uh, put my password, choose my network. And, uh, and then we're going to go over to activate device. I mean, this is all bread and butter stuff for you guys. You've done it time and time again. So super easy. And then you move over to the manage network area. And then once we're on the manage network here, we're going to go ahead and uh, refresh our device list, right? Because we just managed the network. We added the code. The device shows up here in the network tab. We're going to move over to device provisioning. Uh, you'll see the device in the device provisioning. We're going to select it, choose the drop down box for applying the application. I'm going to click apply application and then just under the partner applications box there, we're going to choose Corbett. You'll see that uh, in the mix right there. Uh, once we choose Corbett, we just click on apply. And then we go ahead and move over to back over to the network tab. Choose the same device. Let's go ahead and log into the device directly. Uh, go to the control tab on the device and on the reprovision device button, just click update. It's, it's really that simple in the bright side cloud. It's, it, it's actually a, a super breeze, very, very easy to do. Um, now what you're gonna experience after you do that uh, and you hit uh, reprovision the device there, you're gonna actually see the device reboot and when the device comes back up here, I'm switching back over to <laughs> another camera to, to show the actual device view. You're going to see a Corbett provisioning page now. And so the bright sign provisioning page. So the device is already provisioned in, in the bright sign cloud. Now it's got the, the Corbett starter pack, if you will, downloaded to it from what we had just done previously. And again, on this screen here, you can uh, go into Corbett and type in the code. Uh, and very similar to, to your provisioning, you can also scan this with our mobile app and also provision the device. So let's see what that looks like inside of Corbett. Let me switch over to that video. Um, here we're at Corbett. We're going to go ahead and, and enter in, log, log in to, to the Corbett system. And in our, and we're going to see a lot more of the software in a second, but in this area, you just go to provision player under the player area. Very similar to how you do it in the BrightSide Cloud. You type in the provisioning code and the device is provisioned. Device will again reboot, so we won't take you through that. And then once it's up and rebooted, you're gonna see the Corbett default content, which is, we've got a lot of space and astronaut themes here. So until you have content actually assigned to the device, we're gonna go ahead and play some default videos and some default images for you. And uh, really that, that brings us to the next area, which is how do I get now content on my device through Corbett? So in this video, we're actually gonna go through our playlist section and show you where we entered into a playlist. We're gonna type in a playlist name. We're gonna add a layout called the Contact Center. So this is a pretty good layout. It's got rich video, text, and real-time data in it. We're gonna apply it to the, to the bright sign box and hit save and we're done. It's really that easy. And then the effect here, you know, switching cameras again, right back to the device, is we can see that the, the device will take that, no reboot necessary at all. Um, and the content will be downloaded, locally cached. The device will work in an offline mode, if you will. It's pulling in real-time data. It's pulling in those rich text and graphics. 
So all in all, you can be up and running in probably under five minutes, which is really great. Uh, appreciate uh, all the help that you guys have offered us, but the, the integration is working like a champ so far. Um, and then our last video here is just showing you what the device looks like inside of our player management portal here. You can go in, take a look at the device. It'll, it'll grab a, a current screenshot. You can reboot the device. Uh, you can do other device management features like hide the identity, show the identity. You can upgrade the, the player. You can upgrade the firmware. So some decent device management in here as well. And that's really it for the entire provisioning process end to end. And, and it's really that quick. Um, so now I'd like to go into some of the key features and differentiations that we have inside of Corbett. So I'm gonna switch back over here to my browser. And uh, you know, one of the key things once you're logged into Corbett is you know, we're, we're used by you know, 70 plus of the Fortune 100 for our deep, rich enterprise integration. So we integrate directly to single sign-on for Azure Active Directory or for Auth0. Um, basically, anybody that supports an OAuth uh, authentication token, we can do single sign-on. Then once you're signed into the platform, what you'll find is we have a strong emphasis on insights and analytics. Basically, we know that one of the big challenges with signage is proving that ROI, proving that it's effective. So all through the dashboard, it's going to give you your KPIs. It's going to let you know what are your top playlists, what's the top content. Um, and then when you get into the analytics section, if you go into reports, it's going to really allow you to drill down into the platform, show you again what's the most popular content. Uh, more importantly, show you how you compare to other peers in the industry. How are you doing? How, you know, are, are you putting enough layouts in the platform? Are you rotating content enough? Are you rotating enough messages? Do you have enough surveys, quizzes? Um, and then based on your use uh, of the platform, we're going to give you an overall Corbett score. We're going to let you know how you're doing in, in terms of engaging your employees. And that's really, you know, that, that's the thing we should hit on the most is our background is all around employee engagement and using digital signage at corporate campuses to really get your employees engaged. Um, a couple key things also to point out for our features, uh, you know, content creation, Everybody's got content creation. Um, we like to think that we do it a little bit better. We, we've, we, we run the whole spectrum of the super uh, user that's really used to Photoshop. They're used to layers. They're used to opacity. Uh, they can go in, get truly get a what you see is what you get experience uh, with, with a ton of different tools. I'm going in right now. I'm editing a, a layout that we have for behavior modification. I can quickly come in here, let's, let's hide some of these elements so I get a little bit of a canvas. Um, just drag and drop an image onto the canvas. I can choose any image I like. Let's say I choose this image. What you'll notice is as I drag this image around, I'll get automatic rulers, which will align automatically to different elements on the screen. I can, of course, change the size. Uh, and then each element is different, the toolbars, the items associated with it, but on the image element, I can do advanced things, right? I can choose to cover or contain. I can choose to apply filters or not apply filters. Um, I can then go even deeper than that, right? I can go into my properties. I can go in and I can change the opacity. I can put a border around here. I can anchor this element to other elements already on the canvas. Um, and I can give it attributes for something we call predefined templates. So a lot of feature-rich support for, again, that really advanced digital signage author. Um, the elements we have truly run the gamut of doing everything under the sun and employee engagement uh, and retail and hospitality and casino. You've got your, your, your boilerplate stuff, your text image video. Video does IPTV. It does video pass-through, especially with BrightSign. But you'll see we've got wayfinding built in. We've got your social media elements built in. We've got uh, conference room applications built in uh, on target for weather news. Um, we've got, uh, you know, built in elements for survey, built in elements for Slack, for Zoom, for Teams. So a rich, rich assortment of elements. Um, they're not apps. These elements can be overlapping each other. Uh, they can be side by side. You have complete freedom and creative freedom to lay this out however you'd like. Uh, you know, 
beyond the, the graphic artists, we, we know a lot of customers just, you know, they, they don't have time and uh, to, to or even the ability to do a lot of creative. And in that case, we've got the boilerplate, something called Launchpad in here, which allows you to quickly create something, a template that's already been created and quickly change a message, right? I could come up here, I can change this message and I can publish it in a second. So super easy functionality there for, for creating a quick message. Then we get into some more advanced features that really differentiate us. Uh, a, big, a big part of our heritage, heritage at RMG is uh, real-time data integration, right? That's key to us. We've got over 200 built-in adapters for things like, uh, this, is, this is Salesforce, we've got SharePoint, we've got uh, all of your advanced uh, call and contact center integrations. We've got ERP systems, SAP systems, database to database connections. So really our, our whole heritage is in that real-time communications and that real-time database connection. And then a key feature for us, of course, is we can mix and match. We can combine various data sources all on the same canvas with this data configuration. So it's super easy to use. You can see here, I'm looking at a pretty simple table. Of, of cases along with tasks in here. And this is directly from Salesforce. Um, and then you use this on a layout, you set this up in a, in a different area called data integrations. You can create a data integration in a couple of minutes. Again, we've got, we got Office, we've got SharePoint, so we got five nines. And another key advantage for us here in the, in the data integration space is we give you actually real-time alerts and real-time triggers uh, based on the rules of this data. So step four here is on that adapter to notification. We can let you know if the data is turned off for some reason or if different thresholds have reached. So we're using a lot of 911 centers, emergency centers as well, just because of our ability to handle the real-time data integration. Um, and then if we've got a little bit more time here, just to go through a, a couple key areas that make us different is we've got uh, machine learning and audience analytics built right into the platform. So with this, you know, one of the one of the one of the challenges with digital signage is always say, OK, is, is my content relevant? Are people engaged with my content? Are my employees engaged with my content? And, and, and when I've got these really large playlists, what part of the content are they engaged with? So uh, a number of point solutions are out in the marketplace right now uh, for audience analytics. We decided as a digital signage provider and as an employee engagement specialist, we're going to really just build this right in so that our customers don't have to go out and buy yet another solution. Uh, so with this platform, we do computer vision, um, and we can we can ba we we have it based on a model, a playlist, if you will. So in this case, this is based off a Genentech San Francisco playlist model. Um, I can then go ahead and choose the parameters of what I would like to do on the learning of the model. I can say, hey, I'd really like to favor age. I'd like to favor gender, male, female, or really, I would just like to learn in general. So it's set up to learn in general, just and, and collect data from a streaming mode. And then based on how people are interacting, how the number of people in front of the screen, how long they're engaged, we're going to automatically do some machine learning for you, some cluster analysis algorithms, and come up with a resulting playlist that you can then broadcast out to other screens across your corporate campus. So you can have one screen learning in a, in a high traffic area and then have that rich, relevant information that people are interested in broadcasted everywhere else. So a really powerful feature for us. Um, and again, you know, with, with, that, with that motif in mind of proving the value of digital signage, uh, we know a lot, a lot of our customers don't have cameras or you know, the, the screen's in a place where you can't really do the optics. We've got those same uh, data clustering uh, algorithms for AI applied just to playlists themselves. So when you've got a huge enterprise or a huge estate and you've got hundreds if not thousands of players, You've got a lot of playlists, you got a lot of day parting going on with your different playlists. Um, this allows us to actually learn and figure out what that weighting is of a given image within a playlist and how many players it's assigned to and automatically start creating playlists for you. So we, this, all, all of this technology kind of goes under the concept of set it and forget it. Uh, we really believe in automation. We know one of our customers' challenges is, hey, you've got this great, powerful platform, you've won a lot of awards, but still, at the end of the day, I can't, sp I can't spend my entire day creating content and distributing content. I need, the, I need the platform to do it for me for free. And, and that's exactly what it does. The, the automation kicks in and the automation takes care of it. It makes the customers look like a hero. Um, 
Another differentiator for us real quick is our omni-channel capability. So uh, because our background is in employee engagement at the corporate campus, we know that talking to employees is very similar to talking to your customers, right? There's always that argument. What's more important, your employees or your customers? Well, they're both, <laughs> they're both equally important. Uh, so, but we spend, a lot, as brands, we spend a ton of money communicating out to our consumers to, to establish a bond between the brand and the consumer. We think it's time that we spend that same amount of money just developing that bond between the employee and the brand. And so what we've done is we've taken that background again in digital signage and said, okay, if we take that same kind of content creation and now we apply it to other channels, now we can actually start getting some reinforcement because we know everybody's got attention deficit disorder. They say we're all getting bombarded with information all the time. So really to get that employee's attention and get that message out there, we really need to be able to go across channels. So digital signage is a huge channel for us, of course, very, very important. Uh, we've also got the mobile channel. Corbett Go comes with a mobile app, very similar to a lot of other social apps. Got a news feed, the ability to like things, the ability to comment. It's got that bi-directional feedback, which you find wanting in the digital signage space. It's really hard to get that bi-directional feedback. But we go, you know, a lot of people don't have a mobile app where they or they install your app and then they and then they take it off. So then we've got SMS, we've got email. So the point around this is to make sure that you're really saturating with this message. If it's an employee benefits campaign, if you've got something really important like the Q2 earnings is coming up, you want to make sure your employees are, are aware of that. You want to hit them on every channel that you can. And then along with Corbett Go comes a whole new concept. We've got built-in surveys and quizzes, a built-in reward system. So a lot of great things come with Corbett Go. And, and again, it got its starting place with uh, digital signage at the corporate communications. Um, a couple other key areas just to, to, just to touch on real fast and we'll open up for some questions. Um, we've got something called Kiosk Builder. So Kiosk Builder allows you to quickly create what's a really common pattern for us out in the marketplace are these interactive kiosks. So uh, you could have always created it before Kiosk Builder just using layouts and tying those layouts together with quick actions. But Kiosk Builder makes it without you having to write any script, any code, not do anything complex. You're just simply stitching layouts and images together so that when you actually uh, when you, when you actually put this on a player, it gives you that nice kiosk experience. So in this case, we've got like a little welcome Corbett thing here. If I preview this, you'll see that it's got some basic interactive buttons down at the bottom of the screen, kind of very similar to what you'd see in hotels or retail applications. I can click these buttons and that's going to run me to a different layout or it's just going to change one of the pieces of content on the screen for me. And again, you can put a kiosk together now in under five minutes. It's super, super easy. So let me go ahead and close out of this. Um, other advanced things that we have, you know, love your web services API where, you know, we're an engineering company as well. We've got a we've got a great web services API that we can use to automate Everything that's in that's in your enterprise, you can through uh, through your own applications or tying this into Zapier or if this then that, you can control playlists, you can control players, you can send out urgent alerts. So through third party software, third party systems, you have complete control over your digital signage in your estate as well. Um, another really popular feature that we've added, which is a differentiator for us, is a geographical view of your players. So we allow you to uh, upload maps, create those maps, draw your players and where they exist geographically. And uh, this, is this is really important, we find, in not Net Knox Network Operation Centers or Command Centers, where I can easily take, you know, hey, I like what's playing on this player. I can just drag and drop that over to another player. This is playing on the east wall. I want this to play on the west wall. You can easily do that with a graphical interface like this. Now, we already have this feature in playlists, of course, where you can assign different content to players, but it doesn't give you that nice geographical view of what's going on. And that's what command is meant for us to give you that geographical view. But if you guys have any more questions, we'd love to you know, just reach out to us anytime.